Hey, this video is sponsored by Fabletics. Let's get into it. Hello, good morning. I'm excited to hang out with you today. Um, mental health update. I feel like the whole like mental health update is like such like a wannabe relatable thing these days, but what if I really just want to give you a mental health update? Mm. I know cracking your back is allegedly like not good for you, but I don't think there'll ever be a day where I don't, like where I stop doing it. Also, Sometimes I crack it so good that it literally sounds like a zipper unzipping like because my whole back will go And that shit feels so fire Anyways, hi. Um, first of all this little outfit today is so cozy. So cute Also large shout out to my grandma for buying me these Uggs. She just like never misses So anyways back to the mental health thing without like dramatizing it because it's so not what I'm here to do the way that I keep myself in check is I meditate every morning and that literally just makes me like the highest performing version of myself. It's not like if I don't meditate, like I like have all these like ups and downs and I'm like emotionally unstable. But like I said, I'm not trying to dramatize it. Also, sometimes my life just feels like there's like 500 things happening at once or there's deadlines or this, or I have to get things done and doing my meditations just helps me you know at the top of the day remind myself of why i do what i do remind myself of what my goals are remind myself of the type of person i want to be that day the character traits that i want to be and remind myself of what i'm thankful for and then i kind of like meditate on that and get into my zone for 20 minutes in the mornings and that keeps me basically unproblematic thriving happy flowing zen whatever you want to call it i don't know i'm like not the most spiritual person, so that's why I don't really have the verbiage. Now, like, my days just feel a little bit too unpredictable for my liking. Like, my moods are unpredictable. I feel like I have less control over my overall, like, attitude. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel as in control. So today I'm going to get back into it. Hmm. We're not fully back yet, but I'm going to get my start. I literally get so many of my TikTok ideas in the meditations. And then right after the meditation, I have to run to my notes app and write it all down. And that's what I'm shooting for the day. And I'm just like a flowing human being. And this past few weeks, I've just felt like more of a unpredictable, like scatter-minded person. Like I'm still a great person, don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, I just feel like my mood and my attitude is less intentional. So today we're getting that back. I don't think I'll ever stop my meditations in my closet. I used to do it in a guest bedroom, but this one just feels so enclosed. And yeah, I just lay here for 20 minutes while I simultaneously stretch my back. Oh, it feels good to be back. Okay, bye. Yo, this is literally crazy. Every time I do this meditation, I come up with like a fantastic idea for a TikTok in my brain. Like, is this my secret to my sauce? I think this is it. Like, not me immediately going to my notes app to write this idea down. Um, yeah, so that's gonna slap. Oh. I am so excited for today's workout. Last week, I'm not gonna lie, I had a um, break in my workouts as well. See, this is the type of stuff that that happens to me when I'm not meditating and I'm not keeping myself accountable and stuff. Random little things kind of start to derail, but not to be dramatic. Um, I didn't work out for a week and then I was kind of just like feeling down and bad about myself because of it. But the thing that got me out of that was honestly you. Yeah! So, Thank you. I was getting so many DMs of people that were starting 12, 3, 30, that were doing it. I got so many before and after pictures and people are loving it. And I was kind of telling myself, I'm like, let's get some motivation here. Cause like, have you ever taken a workout class? And let's say it's like a Zumba class or something. And the, like the teacher does every move with you. Like that's the most fun way to do a class. It feels like we're all in this together. But then have you ever done one of those classes where the teacher will do like three of the moves and be like, okay, okay now do 10 of them. And they just kind of like watch you do it. And it's kind of annoying. It's like, bitch, do it with me. So I kind of felt like that. I felt like so many people were doing 12, 3, 30, but I wasn't doing it for a week. And I'm like, that's whack. Like, let's step up to the plate, Lauren. Practice what you preach, you know what I mean? So I got back into it and the motivation really kicked in for some reason and I was doing like extra stuff. I'll show you now, but it's all coming from this place of confidence that I've been feeling with my 12, 3, 30. 
and I've been feeling so good about my body recently, which is crazy because I've eaten nothing but like pumpkin pies. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, motivation has been restored. I'm back in my flow and it feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I did a whole photo shoot in this outfit yesterday. I live for it. It's a little workout set. This is from my December order of Fabletics. And it's getting a little cold here. Like it's really getting a little chilly. I used to sweat and die in this gym while I was doing my workout and now I'm like chilly. So these pants sets are getting me through it. So yeah, I'm gonna put my Fabletics link in the description of this video. You can get any two bottoms for $24 plus 50% off the rest of your order plus free shipping if you become a VIP member. The clothes are very cute and they fit me very well. And I love to take my little photo shoots in them because they're always very flattering. So let's get into this workout, baby. I feel like it's definitely an interesting choice of me to work out with sparkling water as my choice of hydration, but it's such a vibe. I have my Perrier, and then when that's done, I have my LaCroix, and that's how I will be hydrating myself for the next 30 minutes. Sparkling water just hits so different. Like I'm fully never going back to still water. Why be boring? It feels like I've been waiting on this moment forever, but yesterday I was looking around the house and I was like, oh my God. The moment finally came, like the house is ready for a house tour. I'm waiting on one mirror. It's like this beautiful body mirror, floor to ceiling, very wide. And it's like this. I love mirrors that go like this. So I ordered it from West Elm and it was like 50% off or something. Like, I don't know if you're aware, I'm sure you are at this point, but mirrors, very expensive. So that'll be here on Thursday. And then I can finally film the house tour, which I have been dying to film. In other tea, I got my house professionally organized, so that's another video. But so far, they've only done the pantry and my closet and my bathroom, but whoa. I think it's gonna be very informational to share with you like how they did it because they did things that I never would have thought of. Organization has never really been my strong suit, but I basically got a DM from this company called Kelly & Co. And they're like, oh, we'd love to organize your house. These two women show up to my house. It's like a mom and daughter duo. The mom is just fucking iconic. Like you could tell she had like eight Cartier wristbands. She was hot. Like she was a hot woman and her daughter was cute too. But I should have known the second I saw the mom that she was not gonna play any games and that she was gonna slap because damn, she did such a good job. I'll show you today a little bit, but I think it's gonna be its own moment and I'll like break down all the areas that they organized and give tips on how to like do it in your own spaces, but they really went off. I'm so shocked. I cannot wait for them to do my studio. Why does me applying this lotion sound so dry? And it sounds like that time that Millie Bobby Brown like pretended to use <laughs> her skincare line. She's like, and then you put the moisturizer and it was like, Clearly not wet in her hands. Why does this sound like that? I swear I'm putting it on. Okay, so the things they did in this closet, I simply wouldn't have even ever thought of. Like, first of all, the shoes. So organized. They even did, like, color coding and, like, one foot front, one foot back. I was like, okay. Then they did the athleisure all together. And, like, they basically just, like, organized everything by categories. Got a bunch of these divider things. I was like, damn, they really did what they had to do. All the loungewear is right here, which before it was like not. And then I guess they realized like, damn, she has more tie-dye sweatsuits in her closet than she has any other type of clothes. We're going to assume that she wears these more than anything else. And they put them front and center, which makes perfect sense. And we have color coding over here. Like, <laughs> I could never, I could never. So I'm very grateful for them and I'm very impressed. But like I said, this whole organization thing will get its own moment. But I will show you the pantry because I can't resist. Like what? I could never. Also, they added so many things in here for staging that I'm like, okay, go off. Like this is a, what is it? What is it? 
Where's the pasta from? This is Dolce and Gabbana pasta that they put there for staging. I'm like, y'all are just bougie. They got boxed water for staging and they just put like all these little lazy Susans in there, which I was like, okay, cute. Like this is not mine. It's purely for staging. It's bougie things that I don't understand and a place for all my Perrier's. Okay, so this is another little number that I got from my December order of Fabletics. I love how funky the top is, and I love how these pants form my body. They're like not leggings, but they're not pants, but they're like warm and comfy, and they make me look so snatched, like not the booty poppin'. This is everything. I also got this cozy little jacket, so yeah. Thank you Fabletics for sponsoring a portion of this video because I live for your clothes and I put the link in my description if you want to sign up. Um, to be honest right now, I'm trying to get the motivation to like do my makeup to do this TikTok that I have because I want to do a TikTok with like green screen and showing the before and afters of the pantry getting organized and the bathroom organized, but I'm truly struggling with the motivation today. So yeah, motivation has been restored. So I think I'm just gonna like suck it up and do my makeup. Mm. Also, why are green screen TikToks so fun to make? I feel like the green screen feature of TikTok makes it so much easier to tell a story because you have the visual thing. I love a good green screen TikTok. Ugh, not me motivating myself by thinking about how good the end product would be. All right, let me do my fucking makeup right now. Actually, before I do it, I'm gonna show you some new things that I did to the house. Actually, let me show you some new things that I did to the house in a full beat. Let me do the makeup first. I really don't, but you know what? Mac sent me like a hundred products to try out. So every time I've been doing my makeup, it's been a lot of fun because I've been using a bunch of like new products that are lit. So yeah, that'll give me the motivation. Oh, but I do have a couple things to talk to you about actually. So maybe I'll just like do my makeup and we can kiki. Let's do that. Hello, today was kind of um, a long day, but I got a lot done. One of the new rules I've been implementing is the second that the clock strikes five, I leave the office. I don't even think you know this, but um, my work schedule is Monday to Friday, nine to five. And I feel like it really helps the work from home situation because for a minute there, the lines were getting very blurry as to like, what's personal time, what's time that I'm allocating for things that have deadlines, et cetera, stuff like that. So creating the system of Monday to Friday at nine to five, and then really just turning work off has been pretty great. Like I literally just close the office doors when the clock strikes five and I'm out. And that really helps the lines like not get blurred. Um, but you know what I was thinking about? Oh, where are my leftovers though? I hate when you like, pack up your Mexican food and you accidentally put the guac in there because you cannot microwave the guac. <laughs> I was thinking about this year and how it's basically house arrest and it's kind of, you know, like at least it wasn't like a zombie apocalypse. Like you could still go on a walk in the neighborhood and not get eaten. Do you, know, do you ever have thoughts like that? But on the real, I've been thinking about how much I love being home. Like, I'm vibing. But I am very ready for 2021. There have been some good things. Like I love staying home and experiencing zero FOMO. That's been fantastic. Cause I never really enjoyed going out anyways. Like you feel me? Like I feel like going out looks fun on Instagram and it sounds fun when your friends go out and then they recap their night and you get the highlight reel and you're like, damn, I feel like I missed out. But I feel like in the moment, like it's never really it's never really that great. Plus it always like disrupts your week. So I mean like, I'm chilling being home. I have been straight up vibing. And it's kind of nice. Like literally I love just being snuggled up in a blanket more than I do most things. I guess that's really it. And TikTok, another beautiful thing is at 5 p.m. I can watch TikTok and not feel guilty about it. It's great. So I'm gonna eat this leftover Mexican food and we'll talk later. Oh, I do have some little house updates that I could share. Uh, I installed way more lights onto the ceiling. These are called can lights. Also, when I was growing up, I thought anybody that had these in their house were rich, like the lights in the ceilings. I was like, damn, 
you guys got money. So now that I have these lights in my ceiling, I'm like, oh my God, just fulfilling my childhood desires. But I put them up because, uh, well, I didn't do it, but I had them installed because there was like weird pockets of darkness that didn't bother me personally, but more for filming, there would just be like these areas that were dark. So got that fixed, got a bunch of them installed around the house actually. And I got this cool little painting that I'll show you. I needed something for this area that wasn't too much, um, but like still gave some color and texture, but wasn't like some big thing because I like minimal design. Like I like things to not be too loud. So I feel like this was a perfect middle ground to like fill the space, but not be like its own moment. You know what I mean? So she's from CB2 and she's, an off-white color and she's like woven so she has a little color this is my definition of color just like not white but like almost there and texture and once she's hung I feel like it's really gonna just complete that space proud of that choice oh another thing and these barstools have been pissing me off I don't know why they were good in theory but like every time I sit on them I'm like there's just too much color so um, I'm switching them out for white ones. They're on the way. I don't know why I love white so much. It just makes me feel like calm. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? I cannot stop listening to Miley Cyrus' new album. I feel like this is her sound. Like she really did it on this album. Like Prisoner with Dua Lipa too. Like mm, that whole, like that's what I listen to in my workouts. I'm about to shower. I'm about to bump it. Like. Rock Miley, I'm so here for it. I feel like she was always showing off like the rock side of her a little bit in her covers, but her music wasn't really showing that side of her that came like so naturally to her in this album. She just like fully embraced it. And I'm like, yes. You know, like, no tea, no shade, but you know how sometimes artists like release album after album after album and their sound kind of just stays kind of consistent and it's like, okay, we get it, that's your vibe. I feel like she switches it up nonstop. And it's everything. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shower.